Greetings to the prisoners named Sven playing some Psychonauts. As we can see, it is now night. This is very, very bad somehow. Also, I forgot to get 10 billion cards in here now that I got my Psy float. Perhaps I'll do that at some point, but 10 billion is a rather large number and it doesn't seem to be like the kind of thing that I would wish to do in a day. You know, it just, I, I could maybe take three days about it. <laughs> you can see we're climbing a tree. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever heard of. Must always be making mouth noise all the time. And let's play contrast. What is it? There's all kinds of things up in the trees. Of course, I'm pretty sure that is the case. Whoops. Whoops. But fortunately, <laughs> we won't be needing to swear when we say whoops this time because... Of all this nonsense. Pretty sure there's like a side challenge marker on top of one of these. I, th I thought. Hey, what's that? Oh, that's that's a rock. It's amazing. It's what you asked for. Now are you gonna gouge out my eye or not? Pirate scope. Well, if it's for pirates, then I guess we better take it. Telescopes like this were once popular among area pirates until they learned that they could see farther by using clairvoyance on bird feathers. Oh, really? Well, I happen to have a bird feather right here, but I don't have clairvoyance. I can't wait to use Sasha's psychic portal door and jump inside someone's head. Damn! So mission. <laughs> Great. No, yeah. screw the mission. Let's just jump into people's heads. Oh, well, I'm missing two cards, one marker, and two items, so that's something. But also, there's these, there's these like, pyrokinetic hamster gerbil kangaroo things. This is pretty great. Oops, using the wrong keys here. <laughs> Francis running around on fire, that's hilarious. Ah, I want to burn him myself, but I'm, I just thought that maybe he wouldn't be immune. It's reasonable, right? Come on. Damn it. No, no, I'm really gonna die. I hate dying. It hurts a little bit. These guys are actually quite a bit of a pain. I guess they're supposed to be like mountain lions or something. I don't know. Why am I having so much trouble with this? How the hell do I normally do this? Stupid. I guess I just run around them or something. Okay, it's a cougar. It's like I'm trying to kill a flaming pyrokinetic cougar. I just can't figure out how to do it. How do you do it? Well, I might as well go for all the items in this area. I mean, God, right? Uh, th this is definitely a time period, I suppose. And before I go on to the next level, which I keep hyping up and saying is going to be the best thing ever, I I should just extend this even more because, you know, this game is great and you've got to extend it. Come on, people. Come on. Let's try that again. Oh, stupid squirrel, you got fooled! Adult squirrels will often coat a regular acorn with a mucilaginous secretion that gives it a shiny golden coat. This sparkly trinket is used to attract possible mates. Warning, do not eat, because things that are used in mating should not be <laughs> et clearly. Well, I have to deal with this later, unfortunately. Since that's the case, I should probably just get going. Jeez. Ow. How the hell do I not... <laughs> well, if kids' brains are being stolen, then that might mean that they're just kind of not around anymore. Not even here for some reason. <laughs> well, there's hey, that sad, glowing little glowy thing. I guess I'll buy now. some more psychos. That sounds good. Also, the kids might be supposed to be sleeping normally, which make more sense than their brains being stolen, but their brains have been stolen, so don't you talk to me about sense, man! Children, Sasha and I must leave immediately on official Psychonauts business. Please talk to Coach Oleander if you have any problems. We should be back very soon. Do not be afraid. Mia. Hey, has anyone seen Frankie? We were hanging out in the TV lounge, and I got up to go to the bathroom, and when I came back, everybody was gone. I know they wouldn't normally leave in the middle of a story, so I'm a little worried. Tell them I'm out looking for them if you see them, okay? Vernon. Chops Buddy, if you read this, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for letting my head get all turned around by a fast-talking filly, who, when it comes down to it, is duller than ditch water and half as deep. 
So I'm at the regular practice spot in the woods if you still want to be friends. Your old pal, JT. Aww. Nils. Oh, Nils. I was such a fool. You know that you and I are meant to be together. I mean, I can see the future. So I've known it all along. I'm coming to find you, little honey bear. Then we can be together again. Elka. Sort of awe. JT, I checked at the usual spot but couldn't find you. I'm going to try the backwoods next, hombre. Chops. Anyone see Milka, who I am totally dating now? I know she's invisible most of the time, but this time she's really gone. Please let her know I'm looking for her. Elton. That's such cute! Okay, that does it. I've been looking for people to bully for hours, and I can't find anyone. Is this some kind of practical joke, you guys? Not funny. Where did everybody go? Benny. <laughs> Children. Oh, not you. All right, Coach Olio, well, I've, got, I've got a problem. What are you doing here? You said that girl was waiting for you down by the water. That's Lungfish territory, boy. Go and get her. Fine. And the friendship bracelets were never seen again. Okay, it's time to go to the lake in style. Bobby! Uh-oh. Look, I can explain. TV. TV. Jeez, it sounds like you caught a bad cold. Maybe. But listen, I traced the psychic interference back to Coach Oleander's radio. He's been broadcasting his insane plot all over camp in his sleep. So he's really kidnapping children and stealing their brains to make weapons. Yes! Isn't that great? What? How is that great? Because this is an honest-to-goodness psychic emergency! And Sasha's not here. He left on some official psychonauts business. Mia left a note saying the same thing! Lily, a deranged man-man is building an army of psychic death tanks to take over the world. And there's no one who can stop him, except for you and me! Oh my god! Let's make out! Uh, what? Sorry! I'm just so excited! Since you showed up, Raz, things are so much more exciting! Sinister death plots, mad scientists, hideous monsters. Make out? How long have I ignored what this camp had to offer? Everything's new to me now, thanks to you. I mean, look at this flower. You mean, like, kiss? How many years have I been coming here and I've never even noticed a cool flower like this before? <laughs> Swim. Well, then use the bathysphere at the end of the dock. Quick! While the flipper prints are still glowing. Are you coming? I don't know how to drive that thing. Uh, I can't. I have to um, uh, check on the other children. Yes, yes. If the brains are out, they'll need supervision and possibly refrigeration. And how can you not know how to operate a bathysphere? Haven't you ever been to a summer camp before? I'll get a move on before that girl gets overly digested. <laughs> Oh, I love, freaking love that cutscene. So many good lines and funny lines and cute lines. <laughs> oh, my, oh my god, let's make out. You did not just hit my boyfriend. And on and on and then it goes on is what I'm saying. I like it is what I'm saying. As I said, I have to say things that I like that are totally redundant. So let's go into the bathosphere and save our girlfriend who finally admits that she is totally in love with her ass. Oh, yeah.
<laughs> is this different enough for you? All of a sudden, things exist. Also, I think there's actually some deep airways here, crazily enough. They might even be worth a bunch, but I don't think I'm ever really gonna need that much more. <laughs> Pardon me. I'll keep that on camera just to be disgusting. Well, maybe they're not worth Jack. Jack must feel pretty bad having having everybody constantly tell him he's worthless and stuff, right? I mean, <laughs> it's some kind of disgusting lungfish bubble. It's absolutely awesome because just when you thought that things were getting... Poor gross little suckerfish. It can't breathe. I should kill it. <laughs> yes. Yes, you definitely should, Raz, because this game encourages violence at a young age. This freshwater it's... lake coral is so pretty, I just want to smash it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's whatever it is. Sure, this probably isn't marked on the map, but the map is kind of slightly useless-ish, so we won't be caring too much about that. But now I have to remember how to get up these stairs, because obviously... For some reason, there's these boxes of nails. Um... <laughs> why not? There's those green old footprints, and I guess they're pointing me towards here, possibly? Alright. Count the rope. gets hurt, fish. Man, it's gonna be hard to find a new place to give you lumps. Badass. <laughs> so, that's how you deal damage. You shoot nails into its mouth. And if you do it quick enough, you can do it quick enough. <laughs> When you're skilled at this game, you're skilled at this game. Oh man, and now comes the part where, where if you're doing a speed run, you can't get any faster than anybody else because it's it's like an auto scroller in 3D. Have you ever seen such a thing? No, no, you haven't ever. Uh, you see these very shady hands outside the water here? Those are the hands of doom trying to pull me under. Just in case you wanted to know, I don't know what I'm even gonna talk about in this place. It's basically like, yep. I mean, it's, it's fun enough to play, I guess, because, you know, it's kind of a challenge-ish, and it's a little bit tense, but to talk, I might as well just shut up, which one person out of a thousand would be extremely happy with, but they'd probably be happier if they just didn't watch me at all, so, yeah, there's that. Perhaps I can talk about Walmart. There's just no other choice, but, I don't know, maybe I should just talk about the game instead, that would be less ridiculously stupid. Uh, yeah, I guess there's crabs that fall, too. Um, that's pretty cool. The, the, the lungfish, I guess, are real things for some reason, and they have bubbles, but not like this, of course. This is a monstrous monstrosity that is always... Hey, I think I see a piece of teriyaki salmon jerky over there in that clam. Why don't you go eat that instead? <laughs> I don't think I'd be worried about a crab eating me crabs. They may look kind of scary, but they're small and they can't possibly hurt you that much. I mean, for real. I mean, their pinchers are just tiny. Now, if they were huge and went around fighting ponies with purple manes and a decent sense of fashion while doming around the town being ridden by a couple of young ponies who don't know the difference between deadly and not deadly, then... That would be awesome! Oh crap, I cut. I shouldn't have cut. I'm <laughs> I only cut a little bit. This... <laughs> what am I supposed to say? The sucker fish are hilarious? The crabs are yummy? The hands are scary? I can still do my palm thing? Oh, hey. Well, I guess I'll be spared the indignity of... trying to, uh... trying to, uh, figure that out. Hey, it's a diving helmet that, that it spit out. I wonder what? Oh, what? Oh, it's still spinning! Duh! I have to make it so that it's sucking instead of spinning. It's all very stupid, you understand? Come on. Surely there's another box of nails. <laughs> Surely there's always boxes of nails. Damn it! Missed it. Well, this is why you don't ever spit. Ever, because it causes you to get nails in your mouth. 
and other such stories to tell your children in order to get them to be polite. Sooner or later, they're going to find your stories pretty suspect, I'd wager. But... Two... What? That didn't count. Two... Three... Bam. <laughs> Took me way longer the first time I played this, I'm telling you. Like, I'm... It, well, I guess it is easy. I'm making it look easy, and I guess it is, but... Uh, you know, I just didn't think of doing it easily the first time. I'm like, okay, easy? That's not how you live life. These look like the clams from Mario 64. I'm, I'm, I'm reduced to just saying, hey guys, this game reminds me of Mario 64 some of the time. Oh, wait a minute, that wasn't where I was supposed to go. Crap. No, what? No! Don't, no, Raz, no, yeah! Okay, crap. No, 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 don't, 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 go! Go! Yeah. Okay, well that was a bit of excitement at least, so there's that to look forward to. Anyway, this is really kind of the bridge between the slightly ordinary but still awesome first part and the decidedly less ordinary and even more awesome second part of the game. I don't know if I'd call them halves, maybe? I guess it's kind of the second half, yeah? So, well, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to spoil how long the game is, but well, well, let's just say there's a lot of amazing stuff to come, so don't you change that dial or I'll uh, have to bill you severely for the labor. Ugh. I don't know, the first time you play this part I guess it could be a bit hard, but well, as of this time it's just kind of there. I've played this about a dozen times at least, so I'm pretty good at it. I think we may be almost finished here. Well, yes. This is it. No more messing around this time. No, instead you got to... Well, do kind of what you think you got to do. Except this kind of tricky, because you kind of... Kind of got to clamp the clams down on its face. Stop it! It's dying to a suckerfish... Oh, well, okay, dying to the lungfish, that is at least slightly more expectable, therefore somehow honorable. Come on. There's there's a, there's a way to do this that I never figured out. You gotta, like... You, you gotta, like... You gotta position yourself right, obviously. But I just never figured out. It's probably really easy, but... I think you gotta get the timing down, but I think one time I managed to do it the easy way, but I, I didn't remember what it was. Come on! What the frick are you- Stop! Like, this is even- Oh, yeah. And somehow you gotta get it stuck in there, and I don't know exactly what the timing is, which is really embarrassing, because I said I've played this game like a dozen times, and every time I have trouble with this part, it's ridiculous. Watch it. Yeah. Weird. Like, maybe you don't even have to punch the thing, maybe you just gotta lead it over to it, like... Yeah, that's... <laughs> okay. Aww. Ah, poor little thing. That poor little thing just tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. This was once just a normal-sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus-lined air bubble beneath a semi-dry leg bed. But judging by the work done on it, I suspect Maury has mutated it, accelerated its growth, and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Whoa. Poor little thing. Yeah, go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That works on big scary monsters? Oh, monster schmonster. That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it. Now get in there! Now get! Okay, well... Next time, I'm gonna get in there! Because that's where things really start getting crazy. I actually, seriously, next time, I immediately things are gonna start getting crazy. I'm actually serious this time. I know I cry wolf all the time. This time I'm crying fox, so you know you can trust me. So, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.